What's up, fellas? Welcome back to another commentary video. Today, we're going to be commentating the 2008 Pasadena Running Roses Midget Girls 1500 meters. And that means that these are 11 to 12 year olds. That's just what the category name was. <laughs> I don't know why, but they changed it now. Now it's just age group. I am dancing on the starting line. What is wrong with the. Honestly, nothing that I do really surprises me anymore at that age, so <laughs> I guess that's just normal. I was just having fun with it. It looks like we're gonna go soon. Everyone's like really ready. There's some people already in the starting position. So this is in LA County. A lot of the time I would go up to LA just to compete against people that were like fast. There's just a lot more competition up in LA. And it looks like we are off. Let's see how I get out. Whoa, okay. I'm on the inside there. I actually didn't do that bad. Yeah, it's usually I am in last place. But I think since this is 2008, I'm 12. No, I'm not. I'm 11. But I, I think I had a little bit more experience. So as you can see, like, people are out like a rocket. Like, this is a 1,500 meters. That's almost a mile. 100 meters short of a mile. Well, 100 and whatever meters. <laughs> that's besides the purpose. And so I am currently sitting in sixth place right now. And I am getting dropped. These people are out so hard. Only time will tell if they'll be able to keep it up. Will they? Leave a comment down below. Guess your predictions. It's crazy. <laughs> okay. So here I am. I'm on the outside now passing a person. Will I get to the inside? I didn't do a very good job when I was younger of getting on the inside. I don't think I really realized the point that much. I mean, I'm doing a good job here just because we're so strung out. But usually I had a habit of running on the outside. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're in a good position right now. I'm just hanging behind this girl in front of me. And we're just cruising, you know? We're in the chase pack. We don't want to be leading the race right now because that's that's a risky place to be in. Let's get a lap split here at the 400 meter mark. What do we come through in? All right, looks like I was about 118, 78 seconds there. That's about 515 pace per mile, I think. I can't calculate in my head, but we're cruising along. I don't know what the laugh slip for the first people, but that's fast. Gosh, for 11 and 12 year olds, they must have come through like 75. Okay, it looks like we are closing the gap a little bit though. I am in a great position right now. I could be a little bit closer to the girl in front of me just so that she could draft, but I am hanging in there. The best thing that you can do is just get as close, not, you don't want to be touching the person, but just get right behind the person in front of you because it kind of drags you along and helps you catch that front pack, especially when they start slowing down. And it's kind of like you are working together with the person without even trying, I guess. It's just momentum and it's a lot easier than if you're running by yourself or like six meters behind the other person. Okay, it looks like from this angle, we really are catching them. Will we be able to hold this? Will we be able to pick it off? Oh my gosh, there's barely gap forming. <laughs> you would like literally never really see this in elite older people races because no one would be that strung out like this. It's just not a very efficient way to run. Like, look at, we are all, we're five people and we're all running like three meters within each other. No one is drafting off of anyone. No one's really getting that much momentum off of anyone. <laughs> This is really funny, actually. There's just no technique there. All right, that was a 124-ish, 84 seconds. Definitely slowed down there. Didn't really look like we slowed down very much. And now there's some movement happening. I am getting dropped. I just need to run a little faster to catch up to this pack and it would make it so much easier. Okay, it looks like I kinda am doing it. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Now those three have a little bit more momentum than me, but I am not, I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up here. Come on, Emma, just surge, surge. You're so close. It's so much easier if you just <laughs> catch up six feet right now. Come on. Oh my gosh, this is like painful for me to watch. It must be painful for like my parents to watch this because know, there's just so much that you want to say, but when you're in the race, you don't really know what's going on. I don't know. Okay, things are really stringing out. I just love how much movement there is in youth races. Just so much movement. Everyone is passing each other. Okay, we've got some, ooh, some people in the front. They're kind of going for it. Let's see what I do. Am I gonna pass this girl? Am I going to make a surge to the front? Am I going to catch these two in the front? We will see, will young Emma have that speed in her? All right, someone is dropping the hammer. We've got one lap to go. Here we go, time to drop the hammer, the bell lap, the most important lap of the race. Okay, it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to catch the person in the front since I'm not surging, but will I be able to get third? Will I be able to hang on past this girl? 
I don't know. This girl is is holding her own here. Let's see what we go through at 1,200 meters and 300 meters to go. That was a 126, which is pretty common for young racers to have a slower third lap. Like the slowest lap of the race is the third lap. But let's see if I can bring it home. Last 300 meters. Time to send it, Emma. It looks like the girl in the front who had been leading the whole race right there. Uh, the girl in the frame at the front. She is still holding her own, but she definitely died a little bit compared to the beginning. Okay, last 200 meters. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It looks like I don't have very much energy. I'm not gonna lie, I don't have much faith in young Emma right now. She's a little tired, which makes sense because she's racing really good people. But let's see. Oh, the girl that was right in front of me is going to win this race. She looks nice, steady, smooth. She is just cranking at home. Can I get third? Can I get third? Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Oh no, Emma, come on, send it, send it. Ooh, 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 I can't tell. My dad's filming the front girl. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> he doesn't even film me. Thanks, dad. Okay, we got first, second, third, and Emma got fourth. That is a 5'11", 1500 meters, which is about 5'30", I would say, for the mile. So it's pretty good for a young Emma, uh, 11 years old, I would say. I think I was content with that. It's always fun to race fast people, you know. Thank you guys for watching another commentary. I appreciate it, and I will see you fellas in the next one. Peace out.